Hey, how are you doing, bros? In today's video, we're gonna talk about Razer Cortex. So, recently I made a video about Razer Cortex explaining how to download and install. Uh, I'm gonna give you a brief information about it. So, it's basically a game booster. As you can see here, uh, it's a game booster system boots and whatnot. So, today's video, I'm gonna talk about how to enhance Razer Cortex for better gaming experience. And it's already a fucking awesome application to enhance your gameplays but just to have the best experience possible so let's talk step by step so first of all as you can see here that it pretty much scans any game you have on the computer and it displays them here and you can just get your cursor over them and you can click on play to play the game and it will boost the system so that you can have the best possible experience in game but if by any chance your game is not appearing here uh, which has not happened to me you can just click on this plus icon and add a game manually here you can rescan by clicking on this button and you can click here to sync with game clients game clients uh, such as steam epic games launcher origins and whatnot and so you can also go on the game and then click on view dashboard to have some information about the game you can click on start game to start the game and you can also have the fps chart i haven't played this game because of some error which i'm gonna post uh so whatever you can just click on this start game and you can also click here to start the game you can click add to favorite so that it is your favorite game and you can delete this game or install this game by clicking here and you can also go to the settings to know where it is and you can click on update to update this game so after this uh we're gonna go back and then we're gonna go to the boost section after coming in the boost section you can click on boost now to boost the system now you also want to take on this auto boost so that every time whenever you uh, play the game it automatically boosts the uh, system and you can also go to the shortcut keys to have some shortcuts uh, you can exit game desktop by clicking on alt plus f12 you can set the shortcut if you don't want them to be this but i don't think there's any reason to that but whatever if you want it and you can also click on restore to normal mode basically what it does is that it unboosts the game i don't know if that is a fucking word or not but yeah it uh, just unboosts it so it restores any systems which are not running because you boosted the game and you can also click on manually start boost so basically if you press ctrl plus alt plus b then it will boost the game the system so we're gonna attend all these sections one by one so first of all is specials now you have to click on enable cpu core so that cpu resources focus on gaming processes efficiently click on disable cpu sleep mode because it utilizes 100 percent of the processor and uh, take on turn off automatic updates so that any updates any download happening on the background will stop so that they will not use the cpu and now here it is that close explorer.exe to increase available physical memory and resources it is unticked right here but you can tick on it and you have to click on ok so what happens is that every time you open a game it will also close explorer.exe these applications will be optimized so you have to take that out enable game power solutions you have to take that because you want the game power solution to be enabled you know and click on clear clipboard because it will also have get better game experience clean ram so that you can have most of the ram for game and you also have to take on launch game on game desktop which is unticked right here what happens is that every time you open the game you run the game it will provide maximum processing power for gameplays without interruption so you have to take that and then click on ok so that's it right here you basically have to take all of these and now we're gonna go to processes now these are extremely sensitive and important processes so you have to take on these very carefully just leave application frame host.exe because it is important you can leave cast you can leave data exchange host.exe you can leave dll host.exe and you can just uh, leave all of them uh, the file co-auth.exe it is important this is flux.exe so this is basically an application which is decides how the desktop should appear i have made a separate video about it you can check that out uh, while playing games i don't think i will need flux.exe so i'm gonna take on that just don't want flux to be interrupting with my game now you can also take on magnify.exe because while playing games i don't think you will be needing it so i'm gonna take on that i'm gonna take on microsoft photos because i don't need that while playing games you can leave nvidia container because it should be important and you can also leave nvidia container and you can also leave nvidia web helper now this is obs i use this to record my screen 
you can take all of these which have the obs but i'm not gonna do that now because if i do that then the recording will be stopped and we don't want that happening right you don't want the video to end right leave the runtime broker and this is the search and cotton application i don't need them so i'm gonna click on them uh you can also take on skype i use xbox mode control to set up my extra keys uh, i'm gonna take on your phone your phone server.exe and we're done for here and now we can go to the next which is the services you can click on that now here you can just uh, basically take this hide server it will activate and maintain the use of hot buttons on keyboard and and i don't think you need to do any changes here but if by any chance you find some changes here you can take on them but very carefully you know because it might affect your system and now we're gonna go to non windows services which are only three here the first one is the nvidia display container local system so we're gonna leave that uh in the qme emulator service we're gonna leave that and we're gonna also leave a uh, team viewer remote software so after this you are pretty much done here and now you can click on boost now to see how much ram it frees but we're not gonna do that right now we will do that in the end of the video after that go on the fps now here you can just uh, fix your fps so uh, you can take on show fps overlay while in game so that you can know the fps of the game uh, you can take on where you want the fps number to be i'm not gonna take it but if you want to monitor your fps you can take it and this is monitor fps and generate chart when a game ends you can tick on it if you want a chart of your fps but i don't think i'm gonna be needing it so i'm gonna untick that now but you can tick on it if you want to monitor your fps and this is the shortcut key if you want to know your fps display you can do that by clicking shift plus alt plus q and you can also alter this now you can go and boost the prime and you can just uh, view details for player unknowns battlegrounds and uh, fortnite i'm gonna go on fortnite and click on view details now this razor cortex provides special services for fortnite and player unknown battleground so if you are fortnite or player unknown battleground then you can see this part of the video or else you can just escape out so you can click on make adjustment to adjust the settings now here is the display what you're gonna see now you can take on make adjustment to alter the settings you can change the hue according to your wish but i'm gonna let it remain whatever it was it is a choice if you want to make adjustments uh, but i'm gonna just leave it right here now it is written here that the game is not optimized yet so you can just take on optimize to optimize your game and this will greatly help play fortnite take on optimize so that razor cortex can find the best setting for the game and you can see here that the game has optimized and you can also see the fps chart you can see the edit game to edit the location and update the game or whatever now we're gonna go to the next column which is the system booster so you can just click on scan if it can free some space of your hard drive which are some junk files and it will speed up your pc it will defrag games and it will improve game performances so now that it has scanned it you can click on optimize and it will clean some junk and it will optimize the pc greatly so you can see here that it has almost freed up half gb now you can click on my rig to know about to know about your system so it's not much of a big thing so i'm gonna move ahead to deals now here you can see that you can buy games there are some discounts on the game so if you want to download them be my guest and there are also some free games as well which you can download here so we're gonna just move ahead from here this is some giveaway you can discover them uh, and you can then go to the bundles and there is nothing much good here you can just uh, try these out you can discover them uh, go to the games these are some games that you can buy here and you can also add them to the wish list so this is my wish list right here after that you can just uh, search anything here and rewards of razor symbol awards and they are pretty much worthless and this is a profile you can edit a profile here you can view your profile you can change password you can log out feedback and whatever the fuck you want to do you can select your currency right here and your location and it's pretty much it you can see that in the rewards it's nothing but shit here and now you can go on this setting option to do some simple settings you can change the language uh, start razor cortex automatically when system starts 
minimize to system tray on a startup you can take on that uh, I'm gonna select the dark theme because it's awesome you can clean up whenever you want you can schedule your cleanup I'm just gonna do it manually and you can also exclude this object from the cleanup and these three are ticked but I'm gonna untick them windows temp folder I'm gonna untick that I'm gonna untick recycle bin and if you don't want to delete your recycle bin and if, if you don't want files in your recycle bin to be deleted then you can tick on this but I'm not gonna take it you can also tick on browser temp folder you can uh, enter web addresses or domain names and this are these notifications uh, this is shit I'm not gonna take it so if I helped you use the razor cortex then leave a like on the video this was a long video so please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so you can get notified about more of these informational videos. Thank you guys. Let's meet in the next video. Bye bye.